Hello. Here's an economic news summary. I am Patience Aliyu. President Mohamed Buhari has won the crucial support of the Chinese President Xi Jinping for Nigeria's aspiration to build the 3,050 megawatts Mambila hydroelectric power project. Nigeria and China also signed an agreement of $328 million for the Information and Communication Technology Infrastructure Backbone Phase 2 project. The ENL Consortium, operators of Terminal C and D, Lagos Port Complex, Apapa, Southwest Nigeria, has entered into strategic partnership with the Chinese logistic company Sinoma Cargo International to evacuate cargo from the port using barges. The consortium's executive vice chairman, Princess Vicky Hastrop, at the China-Nigeria Core Line Up Conference in Lagos, said the partnership also incorporated Joseph Dan Port Services and Liang Yongang Port of China. Hastrop assured stakeholders that terminal operators in the country would continue to provide efficient port services that conform to global standards. The Nigerian Content Development and Monitoring Board says it has raised $200 million, about 72 billion naira, to facilitate local content development in the oil sector. Mr. Nabot Onyeso, the board's corporate communications manager, said the fund, contributed by stakeholders, was launched in 2018 and had been deposited in Bank of Industry for onward disbursement as loans to enable firms acquire platforms. Onyeso said the fund aimed to facilitate local content development to bolster facility ownership in multi-billion naira businesses to fast-track growth in the Nigerian economy. The Central Bank of Nigeria says it has injected $210 million into the interbank foreign exchange market to meet customers' requests in various segments of the market. The CBN Director of Corporate Communications, Mr. Isaac Okurafo, said $100 million was offered to authorize dealers in the wholesale segment of the market, while the small and medium enterprises segment was boosted with $55 million. Okurafo said that those requiring foreign exchange for tuition fees, medical payments, and basic travel allowance, among others, received $55 million to sustain liquidity in the market and maintain stability. The African Development Bank says it has approved $15 million for equity investment in Verod Capital Growth Fund Tree, a private equity fund for investments in high-growth middle market companies. The bank said the fund's investments would be in companies in consumer-driven sectors, including light industrials, fast-moving consumer goods, education, financial services, and agro-processing in Nigeria, Ghana, Liberia, Sierra Leone, and the Gambia. It also said the ticket size for each investment would be between $5 million and $20 million to accelerate investments in small and medium-scale enterprises in the West African region. For details of these and other stories, log on to our website, nan.ng.